Hey everyone, I'm Greg with the Instagraphic Systems sales team and today I've got our Insta418 cap press um, and we're just going to go through kind of how to use this cap press, some of the features on it, just a little bit about the machine. So the first thing I want to go over with you all is the digital controller. Um, the digital controller is pretty much the same on all of our manual machines, so this is going to be uh, pretty much true across our line of machines. But we have a couple, you know, different modes here. You can control the temperature and you can control the time from 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 the uh, controller here. And how you do that, you very simply you hold the set button. You know, you adjust your time up and down, whatever you need. We're going to go with 10 seconds for what we're applying today and then head over to temperature. We're gonna be at 300, but this machine will go all the way up to 450 actually, if you want it to. Um, most transfers you're gonna be applying, you, you're probably gonna be you know, in the 250 to 350 range. It's very rare that you're gonna go over 400 degrees, but this press can't handle that. Um, in terms of pressure, that's gonna be a manual crank up here at the top. And so real easy way to tell what you're doing. If you see the platen moving down a little bit as you spin, that's increasing pressure. And if you see it moving up a little bit, that's decreasing pressure. And you can kind of see that on the, um, the bolt here that holds it. You'll see it kind of extending or going back in. Um, this machine can get all the way up to 100 PSI. Um, at Insta, we're really well known for having incredibly even heat and pressure across the entire platen. That's kind of one of the things we're known for. Again, most applications, you're never going to be at 100 PSI. It's going to be very rare unless you're doing some really specialty thing. You're probably going to be at 30 PSI, for, and, and that's probably about what we're going to be at today. Just light pressure, very easy to, to engage the machine yank it down or anything like that. That's probably around 30 PSI. So um, we have a, a cap from Auto Caps here. This is the premium snapback. And I'm gonna show you a little bit about how you dress uh, a cap onto this platen. So first of all, always be very careful because this platen is hot. It's 300 degrees, that's gonna burn you. Always be very careful when you're doing this. You wanna fold down the interior part of the hat here and make sure that that is actually dressed around the front of the platen like this, like so. You wanna make sure the bill is just ever so slightly in front of the edge of the platen so that when you bring the platen down, it's almost exactly lined up with the edge of the bill. It's gonna be maybe just, maybe just a slight, very slight gap in between. Finally, we have our cap tie down here. So this is like a little lever with a spring. You lock it down and it connects there right into place. And this holds the cap firm on there so that it's not sliding around. It keeps it in position. Once you lock it down, just kind of make sure everything's still lined up the way you had it. Everything's in the right place. And then really, you can go ahead and apply your transfer. So we're using our Infinity product. This is a really awesome product. It's digital, so the sky is the limit in terms of colors and designs that you can do with it. And this is gonna be a hot peel. I'm just making sure I got it centered up and level on the cap there. I'm gonna go ahead and perform the press. The machine will beep when it's ready. Release it. Go ahead and peel, and there you go. Thanks for joining us today, and remember when performance matters, Insta has your total solution.